As Johnstown prepares to leave Act 47, officials and business owners are reacting to the increase in new business coming to Johnstown. They told Stoker Wysorek how their experience was establishing themselves, what that means for the city, and how the economic landscape played a factor in decision making. Stoker. Jen, select business owners, new and old, say they agree that things have gotten busier downtown. They say because of all the new tenants, more people are choosing to shop and dine in the area. Now it seems to be even better than it was when we started. Classic Elements co-owner Michelle Kupchella says that the resources provided when they started their business in downtown Johnstown were a big help. We worked with Jari, we worked with JRA, um, Community Foundation, all these different organizations that are here to help people get started. It's been really a very nice way to get involved here. This is part of a trend gaining momentum where more businesses are seizing the opportunity to take advantage of what officials say is a growing economy in Johnstown. Megan and George Heights say it started four years ago when they were working a food truck. They say circumstances are now more welcoming and that's what led them to open a shop near Central Park. It was a lot of hard work, but we got a lot of help from a lot of good people. A lot of Johnstown, uh, the city itself, it, they've helped us tremendously along the way. The city in general has just been so helpful and so supportive of everything that we've done. Locals in Johnstown tell me they notice the climate changing too. They say they're seeing more people on the sidewalks and a sense of community that they say has been dormant for decades. And coming up at 6 here from officials with the Cambria Regional Chamber of Commerce on their economic findings. Reporting live in the newsroom, Stoker Wysorek, 6 News.